You're still not done. You've got eight nails in, but you have two to go. At this point, you're going to take uh, the top bar and turn it on its side, and you're going to drive a nail through the side bar at an angle here into the, the wide part of the top bar. I know that's a little hard to, for me to say clearly, but I think once you get started, you'll be able to do it. Where you're driving that nail uh, is through, through the sidebar here, but into the thick part of the top bar here. This is a really critical step because once you get your frames built, it's very important that they be very sturdy. Uh, once the bees glue these frames into the box, it can be very hard to get them out. And when you are pulling them out, this can weigh uh, about three and a half pounds. And the torque, the, the, the tearing, when you do pull them out is right here on the top bar. Without that nail from the side, this top bar can lift off and leave the rest of the frame in the hive, and that creates a real mess. You've got one frame, or one box, or uh, I'm sorry, one frame, uh, the wooden part, wooden wear part of one frame uh, completed. I'll try to do another one, uh, and we'll see how quickly I can pull the second one together. Again, you don't have to be bashful with glue. You're going to make sure those eyelets face to the outside. And I'll show you in a minute how we're going to use them. The eyelets face to the outside. You also make efforts not to hit your thumb there. All right, now we're going to, again, put some glue to seat the bottom bar, and we're going to use that so the thin part of the bottom bar faces toward the top bar. Again, four nails help seat this. So it's unusual for a bottom bar to come unglued or undone. Remove any excess glue. And then the two critical nails coming in from the side. Now I've been lucky here. All of the nails I've put in from the side have not hit the nails that also we put coming in from the top, but sometimes that happens. If it happens, just back it out, find another spot and come back at it. Very good. Now we're going to take the next step in completing your frames, and that is to wire the frames. Now, I recommend using uh, cross wire, even though the wax that we're going to use has uh, wire embedded in it. Uh, I recommend using cross wire because it strength strengthens the wax. Uh, that's going to matter, uh, maybe not the first year, but certainly the second year when you put those uh, pieces of uh, wax or the frames that are heavy with honey into an extractor and start to spin them. Uh, it's a good idea to have that extra support there. First thing you're going to need is a small nail, and what we have here are just small, that's about a, a half inch nail. Uh, the size of these nails really is not critical. And what I, I do is I tack that just in underneath the hip, uh, that wide just where the, the uh, sidebar starts to thin out. Now we're going to take some wire, 
and this is provide or this is sold by all the beekeeping houses. And you're going to run the wire from where the nail is, from the side where the nail is, through one of those eyelets. Go all the way across. And then back the other way. Now it helps if you don't let too much of this wire unroll, un unravel at once. Uh, and there is a trick to that, which is to seat the whole thing between your legs and just keep it there. And if you do that, it uh, uh, it holds it just in just fine. The thing you have to be concerned about there is if you kink this wire. If this wire gets a tight kink in it, it'll be very fragile and have to bra and break, and so you need to start over. Okay. I've now run the wire from one of the sides where I have the nail across and back. Now I'm going to take that end and wrap it three or four times around that nail that's still sticking out. Then I'm going to pull this wire tight and I'm going to wrap that end around that nail as well. Three or four times is enough. You don't have to wrap it too far. Then we're going to take the uh, hammer and tack that nail the rest of the way in. Now the, the wires, you want them reasonably tight, but they don't have to be piano tight. Uh, you just have to have them reasonably tight. Lastly, uh, you're just going to take your hand and wiggle that wire until it breaks off on its own. I recommend you don't use a wire cutter because if you use a wire cutter you'll leave a very small nib of the wire there and I can promise you it's very sharp and sooner or later you will stick your finger on it uh, and then you're bleeding on your frames which you'd rather not do. Very good. So we have one wired. I'm going to take a moment here and uh, wire a second one. You put the nail in part way, feed the wire across. Sometimes these little holes in the sidebars are not quite opened up and you have to take a nail and kind of push it open, but that's not much of a problem. Winding one end of the wire. Winding the second end of the wire hammering the nail the rest of the way in, wiggling it, and second frame done.